Hey everyone, this is the next archer, and this is a knife review. Well, if you've read the title, then you already know what knife this is. It is the Kershaw uh, Blackout, and this is the black serrated version. It is spring assisted, as you can tell, and I'll open it slowly. And right about there is when the spring takes a hold. Why I got it, um, well, it was a great price, and I thought it was a cool knife. Um, it actually has some things I like better than my other spring-assisted knife, uh, well, my other spring-assisted knives, that is actually, I think, very similar, um, and that's my Nitro Striker. And it has the things that I, um, it has the improvements that I don't like on my Nitro Striker. And one of those things is the thumb stud. Um, on tip-up carry knives, or tip-down carry knives, I hate when there's a double thumb stud. Why? Um, because when it goes into your pants, it tends to catch on that um, thumb stud and open the blade up a little. Um, with spring-assisted knives, that means the blade launches open in your pocket, stabs you in the leg. That's a lot of fun. With this, there's no thing or nothing to catch on the side of your pants. Um, I'm sorry if I'm offending uh, left-handed people by saying that I like right-handed carry knives. Um, I'm pretty sure you can switch the thumb stud on here because it has actually a Phillips, which is very strange. Um, let's see if it will zoom in on that. I think it's getting distracted by my yellow shirt. Okay. Yeah, as you can see. And then it actually does go to Torx. Um, right there. That's a Torx bit right there. But then that's Phillips. Makes no sense to me. And that's Torx also, the pivot area is. So I might as well do, well, I'll talk about the knife first, I guess. As you can see here, I bought it on clearance uh, for $30. It was $40 at Walmart, but I got it for $30. And this is an American-made knife. So I thought that was a pretty good idea, um, or a pretty good price. They're selling on eBay for about $50, I believe. So especially since they are no longer going to be selling them at Walmarts. Um, I was surprised it was still there, actually. They are no longer going to be selling the Kershaw Skylines, either. Although I hate these clam packs, I had to get it in here. Nah. I think the price is worth it, though. Okay, let's go over the... Uh, whatever it's called. The steel on it is Sandvik 14C28N has a black DLC coating, diamond-like coating. Um, Glass-filled glass nylon handle. I think that's a fa uh, fancy plastic because it feels like hard plastic to me. Um, blade length four and one, or three and one-fourth inches. Not four inches, but three and one-fourth inches. The close length is Four inches and four and a half inches. Uh, the weight is 3.5 ounces, and MSR, MSRP or the manufacturer suggested retail price is $94.95. Um, and as you can tell, I got it for one third of the MSRP. So that's nice. Okay. So it is a right-handed knife. It does not have any change in carry options. Uh, although you can take the puck clip off, um, you can't switch it on to either side. Or you can't change it to tip up or tip... Well, yeah, you can't bring it to tip up. It's only tip down right-hand carry. Um, the spring is not very strong. As you can tell, the difference between that and... Uh, this has a powerful click, the Nitro Striker, but you can't really compare because Nitro Striker is a more expensive knife from Benchmade. 
Um, this is Kershaw. Um, the fit and finish, uh, not the best. Right here, you can feel that one side is higher than the other. And if you do that, your finger gets caught on it. So I don't really like that. And also, when I got it, the pocket clip, like you can see that it looks like it's old. <laughs> it looks like it's an old used knife. And like it came out of the box like that. I carried it once. And I think that was around the house. So I didn't use it on anything really. Came razor sharp though. Um, the serrations. Um, these are some pretty nice serrations also. Because you get plenty of belly to the knife, and then you get the serrations. And yeah, um, I'll show how sharp it is. Serrations I'll cut with. Well, can't really cut with serrations, except for rope and stuff. But, hmm. Jimping. Uh, it has some on the back. Unless you really dig your finger into it, you can't even feel them. Um, so that's basically useless. There is some right there, but your finger is up here, so it's not affected by the jimping on the liner lock, which it is a liner lock, and it has a skeleton. Uh, it's not skeletonized. It has liners inside, though. So that's that makes the knife a little stronger. Definitely like the knife though. Has a good feel in your hand. F definitely fills your hand. But I'm thinking that it would might slip out if your hands are really wet. What mostly holds or keeps your hand on it is these bumps right there. Let's see if I can get a zoomed in version. So right there, that's what holds you in, basically by your thumb. And because that side, you're holding onto the pocket clip, and some right there, but with your pinky. So, about like that. Okay, um... Nice uh, drop point blade. Um, I don't know what Kershaw's um, DLC coating is like as I haven't used it much. I think it's really strange though that they're using some Torx, some Phillips on here. Um, as you can see, here's the liner. It just barely touches the um, blade though. But it locks it in solid, I have to say. No wobble at all. I mean, There's absolutely none. There's some in my spider paramilitary too, but there's absolutely none in this. I mean, not even the blade wobbles, so that locks up great. Um, let's see. Yeah. I couldn't make this thing wobble if I wanted to. So, um, I think it's a great knife for the price. If you can find it at Walmart for $30 now, um, I would recommend buying it. If you don't want it, sell it on eBay. Um, you can buy it if they still have these or the um, Kershaw Skylines. Get them at your Walmart. Sell them on eBay. They sell for a lot more on eBay in the clan pack. Even though they're in the clan pack, they'll sell on eBay. Or basically anywhere else. Just keep them as a profit. Even. Um, I plan on keeping this knife for a while or for actually probably a long time uh, using it and because they no longer sell them at Walmart they're probably going to go up in price again and I can resell it because thirty dollars for an American made knife that's spring assisted and a lifetime warranty doesn't sound like it can get much better than that I'm still I still find it funny that I can buy an American-made knife at Walmart. Can't usually find American-made products at Walmart. Okay, um, well, I think I've went over all the specifications. 
it's a nice knife, um, fun to play with. Um, a cheaper version of the Benchmade Nitro Striker, in my opinion, with a little longer blade. Um, yeah, reminds me a lot of the Benchmade Nitro Striker, just a cheaper version. So yeah, if you want the Benchmade Nitro Striker but don't want to pay the price, just get the Kershaw Blackout. It's a great knife, totally recommend it. Um, well, for right-handed um, right people. For left-handed people, I'd suggest a crucial blur. I'll I'll try to get one of them. Can't promise anything. Um, so yeah, if I find one for a great price, I'll get one. Um, test it out. Tell you guys about it. See you guys later. Bye.